All right, guys. Um, I'm rechecking out hide and seek. The creator was nice enough to reach out and let me know she fixed the game. Just got off work, so I wanted to play it real quick before I get something to eat. And uh, I will leave a timestamp in the description to the spot that the last playthrough ended on because I'm gonna play the whole thing again, read all the things, so like anybody that's new to the video can see the full game. So give me one moment while we crack into this bad boy. And I want to thank the creator again for reaching out after she fixed it. That was really nice of her or him. Or I don't, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a. All right, here we go. This eye. I could actually full screen it now. I don't think I could do that last time. In the middle of summer, and the sun is right above your head, you and your friends are playing hide and seek in the forest behind your house. Maggie, the oldest by a few days, is counting. Three, two, one. She speeds through counting. As you and Sam, her younger sister, run to your hiding spots. The only one I haven't done is the rock, so let's do that. You're scoring behind the rock behind you, in front of you, curling in a ball to fit. Ready or not, here I come. Your body arches in its cr crunched up position. You are too tall to fit behind the rock. You hear Maggie stepping closer to you. Your heartbeat picks up. Tag, you're it. Maggie taps you out your shoulder and giggles. Sam comes out of his hiding spot behind the tree. You stand in the place Maggie stood before. Cover your eyes and begin counting. Three, two, one. You open your eyes and say, Ready or not, here I come. The forest was pitch black and seemed to be entirely different from the forest. Different forest from the one you were in before. There were no rocks or shrubs. And no sight of Maggie or Sam. Call to your friends. Maggie, Sam. You look around, hoping for them to appear any second. After a few moments, you realize that you are all alone. There is a pale white flower next to your feet. You are careful not to step on it. You look around, trying to make sense of your, your place in the new world. First, we will start out by going to the hut. To the south is a hut on the beach. You walk closer to the hut and see that there is no front door. The porch has swings and chairs that creak in the wind. Enter the hut! The hut is just large enough to fit a desk, a single bed, and a small closet. Look under the bed. You crouch beside the bed and look underneath it. You see layers of dust bunnies and cardboard boxes. One box is labeled Janet, another is labeled Kitchen, and another is labeled Trash. You decided not to be that nosy. Look in the desk. The desk is clear except for a sheet of paper, the contents of which are too scribbled out to read. All that you can make out are, Dear Janet, at the top and... Forgive me, at the bottom. You hope this person is feeling better now than they were when they wrote this letter. Look in the closet. At the top of the closet, there is a fleece blanket, an empty bottle, and a cardboard box. The fleece blanket has tiny holes and dead moss scattered around the surface. It startles you, so you shove it back in the closet. Back to the closet. Look at the empty bottle. The empty bottle, but has a white film on the inside. It smells a bit of, like sour milk. You store it in your backpack. Continue searching the closet. Look in the cardboard box. The cardboard box is empty, except for the spider in its web, filled with web wrapped files, flies, and gnats. I can't read, sorry. Leave the hut. You exit the hut and go back to where you started. To the east, in a field of hundreds of sunflowers. The sunflowers are rustling against the wind, as if something is moving between the stalks. You walk until the sunflowers are towering over your head. After a few moments, you hear singing in the distance. You try to follow the sound of the voice. You go left. The sound is louder and closer than before. You go right. You are getting closer to the sound of the singing because you're doing it all night and going left. You find the singer. It is a little girl who's less than half the height of the sunflower. She does not seem to realize you are there. Ah, you found me. <laughs> the girl twirls around, whacking the sunflower stalks with her outstretched arms. I've been waiting for someone to come by. She runs to you. Answer my riddle, but beware. There is only one answer, and there are a million answers to give. Which one is correct? She giggles. Here's my riddle. I hold and am held. I can hold what you hold inside of you. But don't forget, if you hurt me, I can hurt you just the same. What am I? Bring me this thing and you'll get something in return. Give the bottle. The girl laughs and says, No, that's not. Wait. She holds her head in her hands. 
The answer is jar, but a bottle isn't wrong either. She slumps her shoulders and disappears behind the sunflowers for a few moments. She eventually walks out holding a rubber duck floaty. Here's your prize. She places the floaty on the ground before you, in front of you. I'm off to think of a riddle that really only has one answer. You put the pole floaty around your waist. Go back. To the west, to a lake surrounded by egrets, which are apparently birds. I didn't know that the first time. You walk to the nearby lake. It is breezy and a shiver goes down your spine. You see an islet in the lake. It is mostly covered in foliage. Egrets rest there between flights. Float to the islet. You float to the islet. You climb out of the water and see a wooden chest sitting on the islet center. Open the chest. Inside the chest is a worn pair of overalls. They look a bit big for you, but you wear them anyway. Go back. Go to the farmhouse. You find a farmhouse with a smoking chimney. There are few plots of crops in the field. As far as you can tell, there is no one around. Knock on the door. You knock on the door. No one answers, but a rabbit hops nearby hops toward you. Howdy, he says. Ready to get started? He hands you a watering can. Go down to the lake and fill this with water, and then scurry on back here. All right. I don't remember that part, but all right. You walk to the nearby lake. It is breezy, 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 and a shiver goes down your spine. You look around. You see an islet on the lake. In the lake, it is mostly covered in foliage. Egrets rest there between flights. Float to the islet. What the heck? I thought I was supposed to go to the lake to get water. What? What? Go to the farmhouse. Oh. I thought he said to get water. I'll have to look back because I thought he said to get water, but I think he just wanted me to get the overalls. Got them overalls yet? The rabbit leans against the fence, chewing on the carrot. Yes. Great, let's get to it then. The rabbit says he guides you to the crops. You water the last crop in this field, in his field, sweat dripping down your back. You hobble over the giant overalls you found at the lake. You eventually make your way to the rabbit. Good job, kiddo. Thanks for the hard work and helping me to fend off future intruders. I figure you'll be living on the normal side of society from now on, huh? It's all in a day's work of being a rabbit rancher. He tips his straw hat. It ain't easy, but it's honest work. After a few moments of silence, something seems to click in the rabbit's mind. Well, I don't feel right, too right sending you off without a little something. What can I say? I'm a sucker for gift giving. He hands you an intricate white key that looks like it would open the door of an elegant castle you don't recall seeing. Anything like this around here. What is this for? You ask. It's just a token of my thanks. I can't give you anything too useful. We farmers have it tough in this economy. You see, I remember when I was a young kid. My pa used to tell me, you sense a lesson disguised within a boring story coming up. So you sneak away from the farm. You hear the rabbit still talking as you make your way back. Dang. On your way back, you find a lily white door. It has appeared where the pale white flowers used to be. You use the key to unlock the door. As you open it, a bright white light appears. You walk into the light. Da 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 Sam, a familiar voice says, she's awake. You open your eyes and see your friends Sam and Maggie again. Denny, are you okay? Sam rushes over to you. The two girls look at you expectantly. Oh, I have a bunch of answers. Which should I answer? Don't leave old bottles in the closet. If something is too big, just wait for... I want to know what the what all the stuff in the farmhouse was. Not the farmhouse, the hut. Which one dish should I pick? Something is too big, just wait a few years. Are these life lessons? I don't know what to pick. Never worked for an old rabbit. You spout out the adage. Ah. Wait a second, is there other ones? Restart. Crap, I should say, I'm dumb. Wait a second. Ooh, I'm so dumb. Oh wait, I have a save. I hit the I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? I just deleted it. I'm a <laughs> Ah, okay. That's my fault. I'm so stupid. Oh, shoot. That was quick. All right. Let's try. I don't want to play hide and seek anymore. Maggie says, 
And you could have just say so, you didn't have to pass out. Why didn't I save it? What is wrong with me? Wait a second. God dang it. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Ah! Okay. Alright, damn it. We saved this time. We're saving. What did I click last time? Only bowl bottles in the closet. You spally out the adage and look confused. After a moment, Maggie says, Who keeps bottles in the closet? Saves. Load. Never worked for an old rabbit. You spelled out the adage. I wouldn't dream of it, Jenny. Saves. Load. No riddle has one answer. You spell out the adage. Maggie and Sam look confused. After a moment, Sam says, You really hit your head hard, huh? <laughs> That's probably the best one so far. <laughs> All right. Something is too big this way. You spell out the old adage. Maggie and Sam look confused. After a moment, Maggie says, I guess I saw a device. And the last one was... Alright. We beat it. Those are all the endings. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so dumb. But yeah, it was... A... It was interesting. It was... So it's really simple. It's a good start. Um, but the story needs to be a little bit more engaging. Because, like, one thing that had me... It kind of it has like an Alice in Wonderland feel kind of thing where she goes missing and then she wakes up. It kind of feels like that, and there's strange people that she meets. I just wanted more information on the strange people, like the Sunflower Girl, and there really needed to be something chromatic happen besides you were just like ex kind of going places, picking up an item, going to the next place. Like I need to be need something to feel a little bit more invested in the story. Like it's cool seeing the world. There needs to be a little bit something more, something at stake or something, something that just like draws me into the game, makes me care about the character. Um, but it's a good start. It's like, um, it feels kind of bare bones and it feels like it really has the plot of like an Alice in Wonderland game without a lot of the content, but it's a good start. And it was, they kept it simple enough that I could figure it out, which is nice because sometimes text-based adventures can be very difficult but it's a good start. I liked it. Um, the endings were kind of a little bit lackluster. Um, you really just get one sentence for beating it. But uh, some of them were a little bit funny. But yeah, it was it was good. I was expecting something a little bit more plot twist or like something crazy to happen at the end because I was like, why is there a rabbit? Why is there this dude that's riding Rachel or whatever her name was? What was the lady's name? Can't remember. But uh, that's what I was expecting. I was expecting something like to happen but you really didn't learn too much about the world you kind of just went from place to place picking up items until you return back to your own world good start it just needs more stuff but yeah what was i gonna say oh if you like videos like these please like and subscribe and thanks for watching as always bye